Hey grandkids, if you are watching this, then somehow this video from October 30th, 2024 at roughly 10.33 a.m. survived. And you're looking at the 22-year-old version of your grandfather, Akil. Howdy. I'm making this because as I was finishing my workout, I was thinking, what might y'all want to know about the past or what might be helpful for you to know, even if you don't know that it's helpful yet? What questions might you be asking after this? So for one thing, I love you. I don't know your names yet. I don't know where you live. I don't know the family dynamics or who's still married or who's not married or what the state of the world or the country or the city is, but you are loved. You are loved more than I'm ever going to be able to articulate anymore. You are loved more than any person in your family can ever say to you. You are loved just for existing. You are infinitely loved, supported by something so much greater. To me, that's God. That's our universe. That's our beloved Mother Earth. But maybe you believe something different. But know that the 22-year-old version of your grandfather, who is very imperfect, who is very idealistic, and is also very loving, wants you to know that you are loved. Another thing you might want to know is, um, I don't have all the answers. I don't know if the future version of me thinks or portrays that he does, but I don't have all the answers. It may seem like a straight, very clear path between who you're talking to now in this video and who you get to interact with on a regular basis in your time. But I can tell you that my life is very imperfect. I love my life. I love my dad, David Cole, that's grandpappy, maybe. I, I don't know what y'all would call him. I love my mom, Michelle Powell. I love my step-pop, Starvin Williams. My grandma, Grandma Doreen, who's still with us. My grandpa, Grandpa Roland. My big brother, Khalil, Uncle Khalil. Ian, my first cousin and probably my closest cousin. Cousin Chanel, my, my other first cousin on my dad's side. Of all, I love all these people. Uncle Norman, Trisha, Auntie Lisette. These are people that may or may not be in your life by the time you see this video. And I don't know, maybe I'm selfishly just wanting to look back at this when I'm, you know, a grandpa. Like, <laughs> maybe I won't have an afro. Maybe I'll be bald. I don't know. But just know that life has a funny way of coming back around. At this point, I'm just rambling. You'll probably get used to that because I'll likely be a rambler when I'm a grandpa. Um, but life has a very funny way of coming around. I'm unsure what that'll mean to you when you watch this. I'm unsure what that'll mean to me when I watch this or who I'm loving or who I've loved, how the family will be built. But life has a funny way of coming around. And perhaps when you're 22, if you're 22 right now, or a little older, a little younger, maybe you'll make a video or some other format for your future kids and grandkids or the people in the neighborhood. I don't know what choices you'll make about family. Um, part of me wanted this to be a bit more concise, but this is literally just a thought I had after working out. And I was like, hmm. I'm gonna call my grandma. She turned 82. Yeah, she turned 82 last month in September, September 25th. So, yeah. I thought you might wanna hear from your, from your very old man when he was su not such an old man. Although, and maybe y'all don't believe this when I tell you this, but I've been called old man Cole for several years now. I'm 22, but my, my good friends in high school used to call me old man Cole because I love oatmeal. And that's low-key an old person food. But 
I'm not complaining because oatmeal's got fiber. You can add protein powder to it. Very versatile, very healthy, lowers your cholesterol. So, shoot, call me old man Cole. I've had back problems, you know, for several years. And I'm only 22. Hopefully, I'm still very limber, you know. But all those things, there's no way for me to know. But um, that's enough about me. I just want to leave you with three things. First and foremost, again, you're loved, infinitely loved and worthy of love. No matter what you've done, no matter what you haven't done, no matter what you have or what traumas, dramas, good things, pajamas you've been wearing, you are worthy of love. And second, you get to decide how you live your life. I hope I can be a positive influence. I hope my kids, your parents, can be a positive influence. And I hope the people that our family is connected to and, and is, like, I hope all of those people are positive influences that give you lessons, discipline, the value of hard work, the importance of sustaining our environment, loving one another, being connected, trying things that are new and scary and overcoming your anxiety. All those things I hope you get to learn. But ultimately, your life is yours. We can only provide so much guidance. And when it comes down to it, you have to lay your head at night and be satisfied or dissatisfied with the choices you've made. Especially once you reach my big age of 22. Once you've reached that age, we have our foundations in our childhood, but the choices and the shape of our life, the choices and the shape of your life, those are on you. And the last thing I'll leave you with is, hmm, what should I leave my kids? Not my grandkids. This is for you, for the grandkids. Um... This might seem mad corny, but again, this is off the dome. And if that's not a saying anymore, this is coming straight from my head. This is not something I rehearsed. <sighs> Never lose hope. Like, I'm unsure what the future is going to hold. I don't know what the state of the world is, if there's going to be constant and brutal war, or if the global climate is really cooked, as in it's in a really poor state. And it just looks like chaos. I don't know if we like got over ourselves as a species and really locked in on the utopia thing and order and peace and all the beautiful things. That's my hope currently. But in all circumstances, in death, in sickness, in suffering, in cruelty, in violence, never lose hope choose hope because that's what it is hope is not this thing over here it's not just this random word it isn't just this old head telling you something hope is a choice so choose hope hope and work towards hope work towards the next minute the next hour, the next day, the next week, and don't do it by yourself. Choose hope and choose other people that are choosing hope and encourage other people to choose hope. And if you do that, you'll be okay. All right. I yapped, rambled, talked for much longer than I intended, but I love you and peace.